Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin I want you to let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe I'm not making this shit up, love. I'll put a fucking bullet in his head. Do you understand me? Yes. Go for it. Sorry, what? The bastard deserves it. Hi, I'm Corinna for the fan carpet and we are here at the Region Cinema in London for the premiere of A Kind of Kidnapping. Now this is a quite a little fun film where if you don't like politicians much or what they've been doing the last few years, and this might be for you because this is really about a couple who are a bit desperate for some cash, so how do you get some cash? Well, you kidnap a politician and hold him ransom. Hi, I'm Corinna from the fan carpet. So, for those who don't actually know, what, what is this film about? Um, so this film is uh, about Brian and Maggie and uh, they are a couple who are very much down on their luck and they, uh, they decide to kidnap a, a politician for ransom to try and change their luck. Yes. Does it work? Oh, you will have to watch the movie to find out. I can tell you that a lot of things go, go a bit pitong, but you know, it's... Um, yeah, it's a good it's a good film. It's very very entertaining, and I think all of the twists and turns. I, I think it gets to sort of the midpoint, and then you're just sort of like bombarded with just this stuff happening, and it's um and it's just it's really wonderful actually. I never usually say that about things that I'm in, but I I'm really so proud of this. I think it's wonderful. It sounds like a really intriguing concept, and do you think it might inspire people for all the wrong reasons? Um. I would just like to say, please do not kidnap politicians, um, just to lead with that. Um, but the, do you know what, we're living in very tough times and I'm sure that there are people out there that just feel like no one cares. And you look at the news, you look at our politicians that are meant to be our representatives and they're not actually doing a hell of a lot to, to help people who are in need. So I, I think that people would watch this and probably... Uh, I'm probably feel quite seen with it, just because I imagine that they will all want to do this. But um, but yeah, it's a uh, don't do it, <laughs> don't do it. Well, I guess the thing about art is that you can act out some of your darkest thoughts through the medium of of creative uh, outlets, really, isn't it? So there's a lot of darkness going on in the world right now. I mean, not least to the politicians, but all the other things, wars, uh, recessions, all these sort of things are happening right now. So do you, do you actually just think it's really a vessel, really, for people's emotions? And actually, humour does that, doesn't it? And we haven't had a dark British comedy for a while where we can actually just exercise some of our demons in a safe way. Um. No, pro probably not in the, not not as dark as this is. Um, like you know, it's got it's got some really really heavy elements to it, but but they are they are funny as well. Um, there's there's a lovely moment within it that always shocks an audience, um, and it also shocked me as well because blood got into my eyes. Um, <laughs> yes, I was told we 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 had a we had a sort of um, a blood gun. On, blood gun, um, that's a thing. Um, I don't know. It was like a tube, just holding, just holding fake blood, not real blood. Um, and um, and we were told that they were going to go on three, and they went on two. And my eyes were wide open and just received the full, the full blast. Was it ketchup? Um, no, but whatever it was, it stung. And you can see in the movie that I'm, I'm kind of trying to blink it out, but it's just. Um, yeah, it's rather tragic at a point, but yeah, it's cool. But you have covered, you're here to tell the tale. I am here to tell the tale. And so, what do you think um, is probably your favourite moment in the whole film? What's, what's like the standout moment to look out for, apart from blood guns and that kind of thing? Um, do you know what? It probably is the scene, uh, the scene directly after that. Um, just because it was one of those days where time had got away from us and we had something like 45 minutes to shoot a scene that was very high energy and it was something like five pages um, five pages of text 
and we had to rattle through it and get everyone's takes and get everyone's shots and close-ups and wides and all and all this stuff and so you know that was that's probably and all of that stress is still one of my fondest memories of of filming just because we I it was just really wonderful to work with Kelly and Patrick and to, and to, I don't know, just having actors just being on it and just kind of really excited. It was, it was great. That's, that's the thing though, isn't it? Like adrenaline is usually the thing that gets results and when you're under pressure and you feel like you're not going to make it, it's really satisfying. And I suppose in a way, even though you're screen acting, it's like that tension you get on, on stage at a theatre when you just got to get it right, you just got to deliver. There's no uh, time for too much error in that situation. No, there isn't too much time for error. I suppose the, the really good thing about working on TV and film is that if you get it wrong, you get another go. Um, on stage, I've had it where I have fallen over. I have skidded down some steps at a very poignant moment, which meant that it was drained of all meaning. Um, as some teenagers, yeah, teenagers were like laughing at me at the front, the front of the thing, and it was this really important moment. And uh, yeah. Didn't get to do that again. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to make you relive some horrible moment, but thank you so much for speaking to me tonight, and I really can't wait to see it. It looks like really good fun. Perfect antidote. Awesome. So this is a return of the good old British dark humour. If you're looking for a bit of respite, a little bit of an antidote to the dark times in the world, and maybe a way to get out your inner frustrations, then maybe this is a film for you. And remember, if you want to catch more premieres and more content from us here at the Fan Club, but remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I've been Corinna Jane, and see you soon. Who the fuck is that? Uh, ah! oh, one fucking move! Mallorca, with the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels. It's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.